I'm Clint Burdett. I will define purpose, mission, and vision. Purpose is the essence of what makes a company valuable to its customers. Why do they come to you? And if you're very lucky to be serving customers who need you, the work is joyful, where you are fulfilled, where you provide real value to the community and to those customers, and where your company thrives. Mission and purpose have the same meaning. Let's start with the individual to define how he or she discovers their purpose. You start defining your purpose when you're young, who you are and what you have to offer. And as you go through this life process that lasts your entire life, you'll discover what you're best at and what you enjoy doing. Your challenges get harder and harder and you get better. These harder challenges teach you to work closely with your colleagues. You seek out advisors to learn from, and you develop skills to lead people to overcome the challenges as the challenges get harder and harder. The purpose of your business is what you do that others cherish when their challenges, when their challenges get harder and harder. You create value for your customers. The understanding of this value evolves through a series of long conversations which teach you to make decisions so you don't have to ask for approval each time, to accept responsibility and be accountable for the results, to create trust with the people who you rely on, both inside your business and more importantly, with your customers. So your business purpose, your business mission is very, very personal. We're telling our customers what we will do for them, our promise to them. What is our value? What are we best at? Why should they stick with us now? And why should they stay with us in the future? To tell them about your purpose, your mission, you have to put yourself in their shoes and understand what they're looking for. Early versions of mission and vision statements usually aim the language at your colleagues and your employees, how we all work together. If you get better at defining your mission, purpose, and vision, put yourself in your customer's shoes. Write for them. Finally, when the company is really growing, you write for the public at large. And during this phase, as you grow, other people could be involved. Usually those people who support you if something's going wrong, those who insure your company, or the attorney who defends you in court. You may be writing for the people who will be asked to help fund the business when it reaches the point where you don't fund yourself out of cash flow. Here's some examples of mission statements. Take a second to read them. Walmart started out as everyday low prices. Today it's we save people money so they can live better. It's evolved. Southwest Airlines is always focused on their frontline people, a customer service that's delivered. Starbucks takes a holistic approach to inspire and nurture the human spirit, one person, one cup, in one neighborhood at a time. In four years, following the current version of their mission statement are six principles for their associates. Mission and vision statements can often be combined. The vision says where you want to go together and what your customers need to know about where you want to go. It should motivate. It should guide you. It sets the pace. Here are two examples, both very challenging. John Kennedy in the early 60s about going to the moon. Succinct, motivating, an ambitious pace. A guide for those who would make the decisions. Steve Jobs takes a little bit different approach. 
a vision, a dream about what the world would look like in the future. Repeated in so many different ways, not in succinct languages, but in hundreds of messages to the public. Again, a vision helps you hone your judgment to make decisions, to keep you on track of what's going well and what's not. And if well constructed, with humility to help the team work together, understand each person's contribution, and together to meet the challenge. Thanks for listening. I'm Clint Burdett, and you can reach me at this email address or phone number. Thank you for your time.